my money. This is uh, Preacher Doc. And uh, I don't say, well, how about giving me my money back? <laughs> I've been waiting for decades. For more than half a century. Where I'd be in a position saying, pardon me, I'm only human, not any more or less any other human. And I will then say, well, the evidence is overwhelming. The proof is overwhelming. The guilt of J. Edgar Hoover and the Bushes, the King George, Queen Hoover hypocrisy, nationally and internationally, is overwhelming. The greatest uh, protest in the history of the world was by millions protesting that Bush not invade Iraq, yet he said, uh, well, he had to send the troops or, uh, and then he, he said, well, I, if I don't use them, I'll lose them. Okay. What lying, twisting King George, Queen Hoover, hypocrites. Now, I invented the Xerox. I have through the years maybe a couple of hundred videos explaining in detail. They keep changing, doing certain things, and then I maybe work all night. I hit the wrong button, and they say, well, uh, if you fill out this form, we'll send you a copy, and then they won't answer. So I have to then kind of start a new and repeat and why is it my money by the Constitution the Constitution says that if I invent something it's my work it's mine that's the law of the land they say, well, there's statute of limitations now and so forth. Those are state laws. The federal law says that what is mine is mine. It doesn't say it's observed by some state law or some uh, ruling or anything. You see? So their position is impossible. They have committed genocide. The Xerox was built on blood money. The experimentation of my brother and others. They showed me at least one girl. Those who helped me along the way. Yeah, I have this overwhelming proof. I will swear on a Bible that that is my work, of course. I have various still uh, records. I uh, uh, I will take a polygraph. They have it now, so you can they can absolutely tell if they're telling the truth or not. Polygraph, a lie detector test, showing that what I say is true. I did the original work, complete, thought of it, worked at the diagram, how to do it, the size, shape, the uh, the uh, powerful uh, instant flash to obtain the difference and, and the catal catalyst to the anode and the fine particles and I did the original fine particles of various colors 
they actually hired me to work inside my company, Xerox, and it is an um, almost unbelievable true story that would rock this country to its foundations. So they spend millions to keep me not known and keep that they have forcibly stolen my Xerox and my vast wealth. That doesn't say that they can keep it and I shouldn't be, my money shouldn't be returned, all or certainly some of it. You see? So I am at my money and I've given them until Thursday morning, because they have experts to hit me, to do me in, or, you know, cripple me up, or keep me hampered, say, look how fast, and now you're involved with this, that, and the other thing, because look, at the time you walked it from your, your property onto the front step, pardon me, stepped onto the front public walk, it was right at that time, something, they passed by, so you're involved. And they're playing with themselves. They have become hooveristic, masturbating perfectionists. They have to obey the Constitution, and I get honors and all or some of my money back. And from who? Well, it goes to Jago Hoover and his FBI, which is technically, although he controlled them, it's just the Justice Department, which is part of the U.S. government, which goes then to who's in charge of the U.S. government, and it's Obama, who is not a citizen yet, is president, so the solution is to impeach this Obama. Commander-in-chief putting men in harm's way is, is, is absolute fraud. And he knows me, and he knows what I have done, and he knows it's a cover-up, and yet he allows the genocide and crimes cover up to continue well I say then impeachment and that's where I'm at the sooner the better to get this fella out and we start getting our our government back really they must give me back all or some of my vast wealth. And I have to, by a presidential classification, say they are phony, following faggot CSs.